it's it's available to all of us really but i i, I still salute the farmers and the ranchers because they do feed the world and they're doing an amazing if not miraculous job of of producing unlimited food for unlimited people on very limited ground but there really is a better way and the ultimate sustenance is wild game and that's what i've fed my sacred temple for geez in my entire life in fact when i'm on tour rich i got buddies like the mad fisherman up there in the great northeast who has fresh fish fillets for me and, and i got hunters uh, buddies everywhere my blood brothers are just everywhere and they got fresh meat and fresh fowl and fresh fish no matter where i go i got the best food in the world but it's important that i stand up and emphasize this because world the, our, our life and the world is always going to be good bad and ugly those of us that really really care and retain that passion for a quality of life it really is up to us to stand up identify the bad and the ugly so we can get it out of the way to maximize the good and that's what the activists are doing that's what the Nugent family dedicates themselves to and that's certainly what the tea party is about today that's and, th and that's that's great stuff i got to ask you a couple boring questions if you one question well, like, I'll, I'll make sure they're not boring I, I this is a this is a technical question i've always wanted to ask this and this is a truly i want to say this is com this is an honor for me and the lovely Kimberly who helps me out with everything is actually dying right now that you're on the phone uh, really? she still has a double life gonzo shirt from 79 i see it every, every summer long but uh, I think kimberly absolutely glows and she's discovered the ultimate soundtrack for quality of the american dream tell me she glows she glows Ted. She, she glows now let me ask you a question you've always you've pretty much there was a small period of time where you were playing solid solid body uh i seen stuff where you were you were using uh, uh some pv solid bodies and some prs solid bodies but you've predominantly used birdlands and my one question that i've always wanted to ask you at the volume that you play did you ever have massive feedback problems with that guitar live well, they would be massive feedback problems to the average Caucasian. <laughs> but see, as I'm a huge black maniac from Detroit, I've never had a problem. I have to enjoy massive amounts of feedback. I, it's important to celebrate, after all these years of playing, that yes, Rich, I do play the absolute miraculous Gibson Birdland guitar created as a jazz instrument. It's a hand-carved archtop spruce jazz guitar hollow body that yes even at low volume begins to feed back uncontrollably but as you will notice in my gravity defined career me and my birdlands get along just fine because i discover that threshold where the feedback if any other guitar player any other human being grab my guitar and many have tried and try to turn it on and stand anywhere near my amplifiers, it just sounds like stampeding buffalo up your ass. It is absolutely, beautifully out of control. Now, over the years, I discovered way back when I was using all those Fender Twin Reverb amplifiers at absolute criminal volume levels, which, which was just hysterical, which is why if you attempt to interrupt me while I'm talking, I can't hear you. <laughs> I can't hear anything, but my point is, is that I can still hear the music, I can still hear the birds sing, but I really did abuse myself with dangerous volume levels. And I've discovered probably back in the, the mid 80s that the Birdland will still have that incredibly dynamic, rich tone, even at low stage volumes where it still feeds back like an, like a, like an animal possessed, but we bring all the volume through the PA system so I can get all those great feedback notes and those those colorful chord feedback outrage noises. Uh, it, it's an adventure every time I grab that guitar. So I play the Birdland uh, probably half the time on stage. I play some great old collectible Gibson Les Pauls and some incredible Paul Reed Smith guitars there. I just have an arsenal of the world's greatest guitars, and I love them all. You've 